What's going on guys, T-Mart here, and today I wanted to talk about all the craziness that's been going down in the competitive Call of Duty community in like the last 48 hours. Like, we've seen more team changes in 48 hours than we ever have before. There aren't many teams that haven't been affected. There's been new things coming out of left field. Like if you guys don't know, Optic Gaming now has two competitive teams and a lot of people are really confused about that. And, and yeah, it's just been absolutely crazy and you, you can't really keep up with it unless you're super heavily involved with the community. So I wanted to make a video just kind of highlighting the major changes that happen because I've been getting a lot of tweets from you guys asking about what's going on and you know what what means and things like that so I figured it'd be fun to kind of talk about it because I'm passionate about competitive Call of Duty it's actually where I came from before I started YouTube and I know a lot of you guys are fans or could be fans if you gave it a shot so uh, anyway yeah let's talk about some highlights here the biggest news out of the past 48 hours is the fact that Optic now has two competitive teams they've got Optic Gaming which is the one we're used to and now they've added Optic Nation. So Optic Gaming is pretty much the same team you saw at COD Champs. There's Nade Shot, Scump, Clay, and now Proofy has taken the place of Embos. He left Phase Black and joined Optic Gaming. And that is going to be an absolutely insane team. And I can't wait to see what they can do. I mean, like Robo King, Scump, and Proof, two of the best slayers in the game, hands down. And it's going to be really hard to contend with them in that category. And then, like, I mean, Clay is just an absolute monster. And Nade Shot, if you guys don't know, his stats in terms of like, you know, objectives capped and also kills and things like that. He was the best overall objective player that played at COD Champs. Like he, he killed it. So uh, he's been playing out of his mind. I'm really proud of him. But uh, yeah, Optic Gaming, that is them. Nade Shot, Scump, Clay and Proof. Now Optic Nation is the new Optic competitive team. The second one that's headed by Embo. So Proofy took Embo's spot on Optic Gaming. And then rather than moving into a, uh, you know, managing or coaching role, Embo's got his own team. And he picked up Killa and Miracles, which most of you guys remember from Fariko Impact. And in Black Ops 2, it's a team that nobody could beat and everybody hated. Also, you know, the, the crap-talking UMG event and the woo-woo and like things like that. Like, those two are just absolutely nuts. And they're a lot of fun to watch, uh, even though they can be a little bit outlandish at times. And then also he picked up Ricky, who's been on Optic before. So yeah, Embo's Killa, Miracles, and Ricky. That sounds like a pretty good squad. Like, I can't wait to see what they can do. And, and it's crazy because, like, the Optic B team, I guess you could call it, you know, the, their secondary team is better than a lot of organizations' A teams. So Optic is really making big moves right now. I think all of those guys are planning on moving into the house. Like, I, I was listening to streams last night, and they were talking about, you know, like, bunking up and getting two in a room and things like that. So we'll probably have to get an Optic Mansion eventually. We'll see. But, but I just couldn't imagine having good enough internet to support eight full-time Call of Duty professionals that are constantly playing, streaming, and doing YouTube. Like, that just, that's that's nuts. They need their own reality show. They really do. They need, like, the, the gamer shore that Brennan Tucker and I could never put together. But anyway, next up, Team Envious. This is another big deal. So Envious could not escape the last 48 hours with the roster change. So the team that you guys saw take second place at COD Champs was Nameless, Study, Merc, and Rambo. And now for the second time this year, against his will, Rambo is stepping down to more of a coaching managing position to let somebody else join the team and that somebody else is Parasite. So uh, although, you know, I, I am excited to see what they can do. Like Parasite is obviously a great player and him, you know, paired with Nameless Study and Merc could work out really well. I also feel bad because I really like Rambo. You know, he was asked to do this earlier this year when Skump joined the team and left like three days later. And, you know, I, I mean, they took second place with Rambo and he's just, he, he's really good and I want the best for him. And he's just, I don't know, I, I really respect him a lot. So I don't know, we'll have to wait and see what comes out of that. But yeah, the new Envious squad is Nameless, Study, Merc, and Parasite with Rambo at the helm uh, of a coaching position. Now, uh, next up, there are some other changes. Phase Black has changed quite a bit since Proofy left. Uh, there's Formal, Saints, Sensor, and Dito on Phase Black. That sounds like a pretty solid uh, team there. TK is now Sharp, Gunjar, Neslo, and Apathy. And the only teams that haven't changed in the past 48 hours are, are Complexity and then also Phase Red. So, uh, yeah, those are just kind of the major highlights and the most popular teams that I know a lot of you guys uh, have, you know, followed or at least heard about. Uh, there, These are the other teams that are in the Season 2 MLG COD League. Some of these look pretty interesting. I'm especially excited to see what Strictly Business can do. I really like Stain. I've been a fan of his for a long time. He's a really stand-up dude, and I hope he does well. But, um... Yeah, that's what's going on. I just want to update you guys in case you aren't as crazy of a follower of this stuff as I am, but you still, you know, kind of like to hear about it, like to know about it. It should be pretty interesting to see how these teams work out, especially the two new Optic Gaming teams. Like, I could see them uh, see them going on uh, quite a tear. You know, it's going to be pretty nuts. But, uh, yeah, there you guys have it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I got a bunch of great videos coming soon. Make sure you guys check out one of the other two videos you haven't seen yet, and I'll catch you all later. Peace out.